What's up guys, this is Shonan and today we are in Park Tower Solaris Tutamas which is in the same building as uh, the very famous Fabricano. Let's go! living within a complex where they have an uh, office, la, they have a uh, malls, la, they have retails la. then you are actually staying inside and it's incredibly convenient la. so you can see the standard chartered is right next to it then you have the Ali Mudu and Ahok at the doorstep then you can have a lot of gallery, la, the tuition center, la, bar, la, makan minum everything all sorted out now let's go to the unit Coming out from the leaf, you can see that the leaf lobby is fully enclosed. Like there's no sense of outside or whatsoever at all. So it's all artificial lighting. The ceiling height rather okay, the wave is nice. So now we look at the corridors. I think easily 2.2 meters, which is very, very nice. What I really like from the unit is a foyer area. And this is where you can actually build up a shoe cabinet if you want to. So this is a very old unit already. That's where you can see the marks, right? It's actually quite worn out already, but let's go check out the unit. Okay, coming into the unit straight away, you will see living, dining. And straight away, you can see that right in front of you. Amazing architecture. But before we proceed, let's talk about specs first. This is a 997 square feet, uh, two bedroom, two toilet unit, uh, freehold located in a mixed development part of Solari to Tamas, which is one road away from Mong Kiara. So back then when this Papika building was actually built, right, it was with a very new concept where the mall is hipster fashion arts based kind of mall. And a lot of people didn't get it and now if you look back right those days these units are actually selling for a very very cheap price and this is going for around 950 to 1000 per square feet and the rental here can go up to 3, 8 to 4, 5 depending on how fully furnished your unit is and based on which size lah and this public car is one of three main commercial areas for residents in Monkara but this one has the advantage of having a lot of complex within it. So you have the main main retail where you have the grocers, the fashion things and the gadgets and things like that. Right? So a street away you have all the retail which is the makan and the Japanese restaurants, uh, Korean restaurants. And then on the second floor is all those appointment bases. It's like dental, aesthetics, hair and a lot of child development centers because a lot of talents from overseas actually bring their family along and they actually work in KL. So if you're working in KL, Mount Kiara seems to be a very ideal place to place your family. So as you mentioned, that's the palace. Woo right, then you have all these super ultra landed in front of you and you have the administration office and there's a lot of public buildings here as well which is the MeTech which is the convention center kind of thing where they have car shows, uh, IT shows, furniture shows whatever shows are always will be held there and you also have the courts here, the Sharia court is here that's why you can see a lot I mean a lot of lawyers office around this area so we have a small balcony just nice for you to just view out for a while right? Not bad, so this is your kitchen, uh, very wide and you get to see the deep enough, two rows of cabinet, put tikka, right, tikka, hob, then you got oven and it's long, I think it's very nice and one very cool thing is actually centralized gas and centralized aircon. Okay, your fridge, top, bottom cabinets, then at the end you get a space where it is your yard. So your yard is not exactly outdoor, but then that is just defined as where you do your laundries. And I like it where there's a lot of shelf space. Lah. So I think the kitchen is very big, very wide, just that there's no connection to the outdoor space. It's totally enclosed. And let's say if we off all the lights, right? 
it's like that without lights. Then from the entrance and the dining space, you turn left, there will be two bedrooms and a common toilet. So let's go check out the master bedroom first. So in the master bedroom as well, the aircon is actually via the centralized unit. It's very warm, meaning the aircon need to service, I think, because this building has been very, very long. Queen size bed, corridor, bedside tables, very nice. And back then, they already have these amazing details of the facade, right? Which is to have these kind of windows really. Right, these kind of windows really let you open up way more things. La. The view is really nice. La. Next to the bed, there will be this detail that was quite commonly used six, seven years ago, right? They call it a sexy bath, meaning like it's like a hotel kind of detail. That connects you to the master bathroom and this is your wardrobe space. Easily a 10 feet wardrobe, right? Going in, divided by a sliding door, and you have your toilet. Let's check out the specs. Johnson Suisse, Johnson Suisse, and a bathtub. Cool. So this is when you shower, they get a shadow or glimpse of each other like if you are a couple. And the toilet has a window which is very cool. Then you have full high wall tiles. Some detailings to the ceiling. Rain shower. So I think this shower is quite cool. But they don't have a shower screen here because they want to maximize the circulation space. Like. Okay, solid timber floor and normal tiles on the common areas. So let's go check out the bathroom. Uh, Johnson Swiss, Johnson Swiss WC, shower area, full tiles up. Again with the ceiling treatments. Oh, they have a ventilation system. Nice. Because it's 100% enclosed. Okay, so let's go to the small bedroom. And by small bedroom, it's really small. looks like this and this kind of reminds you like the hotel setting right where you can actually adjust your setting via thermostat like this and you can see this all yellow already that shows the age of it lah. so this way you adjust your temperature on and your fan speed then for the entrance where right, you can see that that's the centralized aircon unit right and because of that the ceiling height is rather lower so your door when you come in the feeling will be slightly but if you don't notice then it's fine but the normal ceiling height is around 2.93 meters which is standard so i think that's all for the unit uh let's head on to the facility on the same floor actually the whole corridor is actually all air conditioned and artificial lighted so when i follow the lights right so there's actually this opening that actually opens up to the internal spaces of Pabrika where you get to see the amazing architecture right and then we also have the gym on this side where you get to see people doing the exercise okay so this is the floor layout and on one side i've calculated there's like eight units so in total there's like 16 units per floor plate uh serviced by uh three lifts here one service lift, three lifts here one service lift here and just now there was the gym at this center part lah. so you can see the only light source is only from this side and this side of the building the rest of the corridors will be dark So now we are at swimming pool level, the gym level and the other facilities right are all divided across the floor. So you need to separately access to different spaces differently lah. Then I guess this is your barbecue area where you get to put things at barbecue here, a basin for washing okay. Next we go functional, okay but you want to do laps then I don't think it's very suitable. Surprisingly, there's a badminton court so nice and this is again in another separate level so 
I think that's all for this visit. It's now time for Sean take 3 on 3. 3 things I really like. Number 1, definitely the location. Almost sharing the same location with Mong Kiara, you get all the benefits of the connection because the proximity to KL Bangsa, to Damansara Heights, to PJ, then to KL Central area is just amazing. And if you are here and you need to constantly access all these areas where they are just enormous population of officers, right? Number two would be the population here, the high amount of population and that consists of a lot of expats, right? That just bring the net spending power here into a very different level and the rental demand here is constantly there. Not only that, you have a lot of Japanese schools, Korean schools as well. These are where the communities are and that often the time, right? attracts more of the act over and stay together. Last but not least would be the convenience. If you think about lifestyle, right? If I just park in my car and just go up to my unit, I know you drive out already. I can basically have anything I want right here in public car already. I need to go to the bank la, I want to go and do my atas haircut la. I want to go and check my health la. I want to do my double eyelid la if I want to la. You want to eat Japanese la, Korean la, Chinese la, local la, local atas a bit la. Everything also got including the grocers. Not only that, the lifestyle, there's a lot of pub here, a lot of action as well. If you're young then you will like it la. Three things I don't like, number one would be the amount of congestions that will be around public car during office hours and party hours la. Because of the facilities here, a lot of people during office hours, they will need to move out. Then a lot of office crowd comes in. Then when office crowd go out already, then become party time. So it's almost 24 hours traffic non-stop. Like now you can hear all the sound, all the noise. That comes with the convenience. Lor. Number two would be the design of the centralized utilities, lor, like the air con. The temperature was actually cooler in the corridor, right? rather than the unit itself because maybe it's maintenance things so i personally prefer individual unit where i get to do my own maintenance this is why i need to contact the maintenance office and things like that to actually do it but that being said that actually allows the developer right to dress up the facade really well because no more compressor individual compressors you need outside the facade because all of them are actually centralized and then you have the cooling tower somewhere so not only that the gas as well there's been a lot I mean a lot of cases where they say it's dangerous in terms of firefighting point of view but then in terms of convenience I'm not sure because I don't cook last but not least this I don't think it's a place to raise my kids because it's really solely on convenience and accessibility and action kind of thing point number three I don't like will actually be the lack of openness the lack of outdoor indoor connectivity because if you once you go into the lift only that's it you are like enclosed out from the world so even the corridor is dark the going to the room is dark the toilet is dark the yard is dark the kitchen is dark only the living master bedroom and a little bit of the smaller bedroom that's it everything else is actually dark and there's no daylight penetrating whatsoever you want to actually design it somewhat like a commercial building rather than a residential building because in residential daylight actually plays a very very huge role up, but this is a little bit too much so so i think that's all for this review do i like it of course right last time if i were to well i came here actually before publica was actually being launched but i miss it because the time no money ma. but now if you think about it right 1000 per square feet you know and with the constant upgrades and constant development of uem around this area and what i have not talked about right is the opportunity of this area because this consists of the commercial part that's why it's the main attraction of all the residential components around you still have the park la gambo also coming out a lot guess where they are going for dinner and they hang out Yep, at this current junction of my life, I really favor convenience, I really favor being close to action and this would be very ideal. But if you want to raise a kid, you want to be more serene, privacy, not for you. Lo. If you like this video, like it, share it and even subscribe for more information like this. Until next time, this is Sean Dan. Ciao.